I am Les Harrison and this is the HRC Hurricane. So tell me about the car because um, you know I can see immediately the quality of the, the you know the finish on it so tell me a bit about your background and then how the car came about okay so I'm, I'm from an engineering background um, I started out as a tool maker um, fitter um, but also the youngest of three brothers and we all race super bikes so I've been surrounded by machinery two and four wheel machinery as far back as I can remember um, not long after leaving school I ended up working for a company that built I think at the time they were regarded as the best non-works factory rally cars um, available anywhere on the planet so I got a great education there building race cars and then later on um, as I said uh, racing super bikes myself helping to build um, build super bikes maintain them so on and so forth and then also four-wheel competition as well as heavily involved with tell me how, how how this particular car came about and and your plans for it um the, the car i would studied what had been going on in the motorcycle industry for the last 15 years um motor said that quite a few of the motorcycle manufacturers were doing very very well out of designing and manufacturing um, retro base motorcycles and what I mean by retro is they'd, they'd take a 60s or 70s style of motorbike be it a, a cafe racer or a scrambler and they'd redesign it but um, with, with today's kind of design considerations also included so you got a mix of new and old and I, I just happen to think when you mix new and old together from a design point of view magical things happen you know so after, that was the inspiration really for me to bring about this car now it's got 70 years worth of sports car race car lines in, within it people will look at the car i've had so many different opinions on oh i can see this um, type of car and that type of car so on and so forth um but it is totally unique uh, i haven't set out to, i haven't been inspired by one particular car if, when you look get to see all around the car you will see aspects of many but isn't it isn't a copy of one car tell me about the the, the construction of the car the the car is based on a bmw z4 sports car uh, both on the e85 model and the e86 model so that takes you from 2003 up to 2009 uh, a car which i think is a, a wonderful car from an engineering point of view it's a fantastic package a high revving straight six engines, great reliability, low cost of ownership, they handle fantastic. They've got all the basic elements you, you'd want in a sports car. However, me personally, I was never a fan of the look. From some angles, depending where, you, where you're viewing the car from, the bland, some parts ugly, and some bits are okay. Uh, I just thought the car offered so much potential uh, when it came to rebodying, re restyling. Uh, one of the biggest factors is, it, and few people know about it, is the fact that the rear quarter panels on these cars bolt off. So you can completely change the rear quarter panels without altering the car's chassis. So the strength, you're not, you, you, I've gone nowhere near the, the, the chassis on this car. It's as was. Same with the air safety systems, airbags, all that kind of kit. It's as BMW intended. Let's talk about the, 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 the bodywork. That's uh, GRP or? It is G GRP, yeah. Um, I, I use, I, uh, the people who manufacture the panels for me use a resin. It's, it's not cheap, it really isn't cheap, the resin. I do pay a premium for it. But it's, um, if, you, if, you, if you took one of my cars over to Spain, did a tour of Spain, any hot country on the planet, um, there, are no, there are no issues regarding heat. Yeah. And, and the resin, which I've known in the past to be an issue with other people's cars. Um, also, it's 20% it's more flexible and 20% stronger. And, you know, those figures are massive. So even though I pay a premium for it, it, it really is money well spent. 
and the, uh, the 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 car will not be sold as, as a kit this is a, a production car for the foreseeable future i have absolutely no plans to sell it as a kit and the reason being um so much effort has gone from day one for me this has been the best part of three years worth of pure hard graft um covid to be honest with you has been a massive of massive benefit to me because working 14 hour days became seven days a week became the norm but it was easier to do because there was nothing else to do there were there were no pubs to go to there were no restaurants to go to there was no football to watch so you know the the whole project had my undivided attention for so long and then on uh, unfortunately working seven days a week and putting those hours in even outside of the lockdowns that becomes the norm so i would probably i've probably done this job in half the time otherwise would have taken and tell us the market you're aiming for and and how people will be able to get hold of one um, the, the market I'm aiming for, uh, to be honest with you, that's a tricky question. Because it's because this is a rebodied existing car, it isn't like a, it isn't a typical option for the kit car people as such. Because it's not so much a kit car, it's more a, um, a body kit car, I suppose, is a, 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 for, for want of a better description. Um, and so it's for those people who love the individuality the character that a kit car body shape can bring but you've got that factory build quality but, you know at the end of the day that car goes around the corner like a, a bmw yeah you know because it's a bmw underneath it all so uh, the way i see it i've created I've, I've taken one of the greatest cars in my opinion the bmw have ever created but given it a body a shape that is worth that is worth all the fuss if you like it the but the, the, i think the look of the car matches what the car is all about it's a great car so would people order a complete car from you or would they find a z4 and bring it to you or uh, how, that, how, would you, how would you work it yeah there is a choice some might, if, if someone's got a pride and joy z4 and that they might have already invested quite a bit into regard and suspension performance what have you for sure i can i can take their car and, and transform it um I've got a feeling that I, I've got a feeling it'll end up probably a 50-50 split on on, on, on that score. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, um, I, I I will build things that I think other people will like. Fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, and obviously on top of that, take orders. So, how would people find you to be able to to to, to inquire about the car? <laughs> Uh, this is hot off the press this car this really is a, yes, something of, of a yeah, yeah. so um i apologize um uh, for the fact the website isn't up yet because there are more that there's more photographing needs doing we also have a, another model on the way um but i felt like it's about time people got to see the car so um well, we the best of the update and let people know as soon as it's available if you like yeah you? ideal great yeah we can great if you can do that super um best best form of contact for me right now would be email address and that is les harrison 848 at btinternet.com that's the best way to get hold of me so i'll repeat that it's les harrison 848 at btinternet.com mm.